Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. Today in the AFT arena we have the new event that is called Fight of Fates. This is a pretty interesting mechanics and we'll talk about it in this video. Okay, so it's on the test server right now. It's uh, in the beta, so I'm not sure if it will go live or not, but you guys would like to see that. That's really curious. So, uh, the idea is it's a pretty uh, straightforward mechanics. You basically fight other teams as always in those events. Uh, all your heroes are kept at level 300, they will have mythic tier to gear and blah blah blah, everything will be the same for everyone, full furniture and all that. You will have to pick your formation before you start, so this is new. Uh, before that we had to actually create formations during the draw parts and now we'll just pick the ones that we like from the, this list of uh, 9 formations and go with it and try to defeat an enemy who will pick the same type of formation so yeah all of us have uh, that limited amount of uh, options we will go with the first one because it seems to be the best one so far honestly uh, there are some really interesting ones yeah those are pretty balanced and you won't be able to try them out unless you wail because all the heroes here are balanced and they all have the same stats and gear so it will be interesting so we're going with our first formation and you can always spar with your teammates over here of course or you can go for the challenge that's what we will do and you will match with the players in real time by the way guys if you want to play this you would like to turn off acceleration in the game menu otherwise it will get really really hazy you don't want that there we go, we found the match, it took us actually 2 minutes, but on the global I think it won't be the case. So the game mechanics here is the same stuff, fights is happening in real time, and you will have to use those buffs at the bottom and pull them either on your heroes, now we gained Ainz a little bit of extra energy, or the red ones goes for the enemy, so we will debuff enemy Ainz. And that's how it will go, basically you will have to time them properly in order to destroy the enemy and we are not uh, really winning this right now oh my god our ice is almost dead and yeah the energy down there will uh gather up over time and yeah uh immune 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 up 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 all right i'm wondering if we'll be able to win this though because the enemies there we destroyed the enemy ice so it shouldn't be that much of a problem they have only two heroes left so uh yeah that's how it goes you basically debuff enemies and buff your guys and it's I think it's really fun because it's a totally new mechanics and I haven't encountered it before. So uh, yeah, I wonder what the the rewards will be for this and how it will go. Uh, all right, we buff our Eins again. He's being turned into Acorn all the time. Gosh, more energy for Eins for more ultimates, please. And in the end, you will either destroy the enemy, we won this, that's really nice, or the player who will have the most alive heroes uh, and who will have the most health for their team will win. I will read this out so it will be more clear. If the battle timer reached zero without a definitive winner, the side with the most surviving heroes still on the battlefield will claim victory. If you have the same amount of heroes on the both sides, uh, the side with the highest combined percentage of health remaining will claim the victory. So basically, if you have both two heroes left, who will have the most health will win. Other than that, now the rewards are one summoning scroll per day for taking part in this. I think there will be something like in the rest of those Battle of Blood events. Uh, some quests will come in later, but right now it's like that and it's... I don't know guys, I think it's extremely fun. Let's actually change our team a little bit. I'm not uh, rushing for the highest rank i want to really try formation four this is undying formation so all those guys are kind of not on the battlefield during the fight so that's the team i wanted to create in real life you know the guys who are evading enemies all the time we'll see how it will go there we go so we will test our <laughs> funny team over here probably we will lose if the, those guys will have eyes oh no they don't have eyes they decided to go for a different team as well so uh, target recovers max health heal six percent of health every second let's go so yes there are different bonuses and you can actually use them up as you want to it's up to you uh so far i really found shield huh. I, I put shield on someone so yeah so far i found it really fun honestly like uh the bonuses actually seems to be different for the different teams because for the previous team we had we didn't get all that life regen, so we won. 
No, we, we lost. Okay. So yeah, um, it seems that for the different formations, we'll have the different bonuses. Yeah, there we go. So we can actually see it. So for Ainz and Arthur formation, we have the, the cards that gives us mostly energy. So you can actually check them out before you will go into the event. Uh, some of those are really nice, like immunity. Some of those, uh, regen and healing, those are really good as well. Ring of Enlightenment is really good for Ainz. You will just buff his energy and he will burst out his AoE. And winged boots are kind of weird. This is randomly moving the hero. But yeah, let's take a look at other formations and what kind of cars do they have. So this one is a little bit different, right? And they have uh, the different... Uh, cards. So we have the... Elite heroes within the range have their haste increase for 10 seconds. That's really powerful if all of you guys are stacked up. Uh, over here we have Arrows of Havoc. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we will take a look at that a bit later probably. Right now it doesn't matter if you win or lose, you will get the scroll anyway. But I really like that different teams have different setups, different cards. And actually you have to learn how to use it before you will go into the fight otherwise you will be like oh what's happening there are different cards now but yeah those guys are mostly focused around the debuffs they are fully focused around the debuffs they don't have their own buffs interesting so yeah it seems that based on the team like the one we tried here is based around survivability so they have all that healing and all that stuff available for them so they won't die that easily um, different teams have different aspects, different bonuses, different, uh, different focuses, let's put it like that. And honestly, so far from what I've tried, from what I've seen, the Fios formation seems to be the easiest because, you know, it's Ainz with Arthur in that and two uh, energy guys who will buff your Ainz as well. And all those cards are really, really good because they will allow Ainz to be stronger, for example. They will allow you to get extra energy like those rings. And uh, they can actually damage enemy. And they have a really good Ring of Reckon that can be used against enemies. 30% of their health gone instantly. And more effect against Hypogeans. Hello Lucretia, you are going to suffer from this. <laughs> so yeah, uh, other than that, I tried the last team with uh, Ainz as well. But it wasn't that successful. So yeah, so far out of all those formations, the first one I like the most. There will be more testing of this obviously to decide which one is the best. But I'm not entirely sure if that's needed unless it's going to be leap and unless it's going to bring up a lot of good rewards. Because right now you're awarded with one summon scroll per day and that's it. Alright guys, so I think I'll show you the records. Uh, there is a win-lose ratio here, that's really curious, so you will actually see how good you are. But yeah, other than that, uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about this event while you're going there. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and guildies. If you are new to the channel or not subscribed yet, so why please do that, that will help me drastically and you won't miss videos. Specifically if you will push the bell button as well. And yes, check the pinned comment and the video description for the links. Discord, you would like to join that playlist of more AFK Arena guides and videos. And my social media, because I would like to see you there as well. That's about it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Soviet out. До свидания.